Welcome back to more Q Basic guys. So one thing I forgot to mention in the last little bit was when you're doing if then statements. If you what if you want to execute more than just one little to be line of code? Because earlier we did, you know, if a dollar sign is equal to or if a equals to seven or five or whatever then go to right well what if you want more so it's very 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 simple so we're going to do input we're going to go hey what's your name and we'll get a name variable if uh, name is equal to George then you can do print oh George my favorite name ever like that right and then we're going to do end if. Okay. And if it's not that, so let's do um, end if. this work go to 100 that's not my favorite name sorry so let's see if that works so we go bam what's your name Kyle that's not my favorite name I'm sorry interesting that throughout okay but it's George hey oh George my favorite name ever so that works so just kind of a little something there. Um, so you can you can expand out great, wonderful, wonderful themes. Let's go ahead and get a new uh, clean slate here. Now, let's say that we wanted to grab a number. We're going to do a guessing name. So guessing game. Excuse me. So we do input. Guess a number between 10 and 12. 15, 14, 15, whatever. We'll call that number. If number is greater than 10 and number is less than 16, Actually, it said between, right? So 15. Then uh, we're going to go to line 100 because I like 100. We're going to call it end. If it's not, then uh, we're going to say, hey, you need to. Choose between 10 and 15. And we're going to do print or input. Do you want to try again? That variable will try. If Try is equal to y, then go to 1. Okay? If they don't, then they're going to quit. And everything is going to work out. So if we go uh, 9, dude, you need to try between 10 and 15. You want to try again? No? Okay. 
again we have a question mark we don't need let's do that again so the nine oh yeah let's try that again uh, this time oh has to be between 11 there you go so you got that right um, I'm assuming yes there is an else statement that we can do so let's uh, so this time let's get rid of this and then input Let's give them the option of one, two, or Q. So we do input, uh, select a number, Q to quit. And we will put that in a variable in that. If n is equal to one, then else if n is equal to 2, then last first statement. It is the first statement on the line. Oh, is it? There we go. Else. And then we're going to end. So if n is equal to 1, then we're going to print you chose 1. Else, if n is equal to 2, print you chose 2. Else, we're just going to quit. So let's go ahead and do print. And we'll go 1, option 1, print 2, option 2, print 3, or q, quit. Block if without end if. Chose to quit. And if. So it's like number. If we do one, you chose to quit. I think I need these in quotes because it is not realizing that I am uh, let's do this else if chose to quit then oh it needs to be right else we're going to go to one type mismatch oh there it is I forgot my um right so one chose one two he chose two three four five six a b c d None of it works because it is just looping back up and we go Q, we want to quit. So there we chose to quit. So basically it's just a simple quick and dirty uh, menu system. Um, obviously you will need to do some major checking to like make sure that the alphanumerical, it's, if that's what you're expecting, make sure it's that. If it's just numbers you're expecting, check for numbers. If it is anything else like that, uh, just you know do that. But yeah, there you go. Just some simple if-then statements with else if. Remember, else if is one word, not two. Um, that'll get you kind of mixed up sometimes, like I did. And uh, there you have it. All right. We'll talk to you later. Have a good one. Bye now.